It's no secret that a lot of Twitch streamers are going viral on social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram Reel, or even YouTube Shorts by uploading their Twitch clips there. I actually have a couple of videos on the subject. I even interviewed a TikToker or a Twitch streamer that went from zero all the way up to 100k on TikTok by just uploading Call of Duty clips. But here's the thing, the format on those platforms is not the same as Twitch. Because on Twitch, you will see formats such as 1080p or 720p. Those are 16 by 9 or you can call them landscape mode. Whereas TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or even Instagram Reels will require you to have, well, the same thing but flipped over, <laughs> which you can call portrait mode. Today we're going to be using a special tool that will allow us to take our Twitch clips and then turn them into that portrait format. And that special tool is CrossClip, which this video is actually sponsored by. Without further ado, let's convert some clips. Okay, so the first step if you're on desktop is to go to crossclip.com from your whatever browser you want and you'll see this. It'll tell you convert your Twitch clips into all of those things. If you haven't been posting on those platforms, uh, here is a brief description of why you should start doing it because it allows you to get noticed. Now you have multiple ways of selecting your Twitch clips. You can either enter the URL right here or you can upload locally. So if you already downloaded your clips, it's super easy. But let's go to my Twitch channel and let's find a clip. All right, let's check out this one. Classic. All right. So all we have to do is click top here in the address bar and control C to copy the link and then control V to paste that link and click get clip. Okay, that's actually really fast considering how bad my internet is. And this is where you're brought into this. Well, let's call it the editor, right? And you'll see content with that green rectangle and then camera with the orange rectangle. You need to click and drag it to your camera and it actually shows you the output in real time which is so cool now cross clip is pretty advanced because you can actually still trim that clip if you know if your viewer clipped it and it wasn't great you just trim it and then top right you will see the output settings so if you want a different format if you actually want landscape you can also pick that and then square for instagram or facebook that is also an option you can also drag them from the output to place them if you want. But let's keep it portrait, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and all that. Now, if the formatting is not perfect and you actually have, you know, space for the background, you can choose to have a blurry background behind your actual content, and which I suggest you just keep it on. Or if you turn it off, it'll be just black. So you'll have like two black bars pretty much. You can also get rid of the watermark, but that's the pro version and also get rid of the outro also pro. If you want to add additional layers, I know that sometimes, you know, if you're playing FPS games, you want to show your health. If you're 1 HP and you're clutching something or the amount of ammo you have before you clutch, you can also add that by adding an additional layer that is also pro. Then you will see the two layers that we currently have, the camera and the content, and you can actually pick the aspect ratios for those. Unlocked is what I would usually choose, especially because of, you know, my camera overlay is kind of weird. So it allows you to move it freely and really have whatever shape your camera overlay is. And then for the content, especially, you know, if you're doing stuff like uh, the square, aspect ratio in total, it's always good to be able to unlock it or portrait or square if you want to. Um, this is not updating, you just gotta click on it once and it will update. And now you have a square format. Same thing for here, boom, you'll have a better format. Down here, you'll find editor options where you can decide to hide the borders in the input or in the output. Uh, I suggest you keep that on and turn that off so you can really see what it will actually look like once you export it and to export it you have to click on compile but let's check out the layouts first so there's a couple of pre-made layouts right there that you can just pick and choose and then boom just like that you can apply the preset just place it and you're good to go all right let's compile this let's say that hey this is what i want and click compile now i haven't logged in yet so i'm gonna log in with my twitch account and then it will allow it to remember me now you can come up with a title in my case it's my game you can pick the output my clip was already 30 fps and it was 720p and then you can click start compilation on top of it, they'll actually send you an email with a link to download the clip, so you'll never lose it. Now, here's the extra part. They actually have a mobile app, which I'm excited to test. But let's close this message for now 
and then we can just click download boom and we can save it now there's two main things that i want to point your attention to top left you will see my clips in my game so this is the title of my clip and this is the directory yes that's right you can actually store them you have your own library right here in cross clip but on top of that uh, on the right side you will see open an editor so if you're not satisfied with the way it looks or if you want to change the format the same clip to another platform you can still just edit it so that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and try the mobile app all right so i just open my browser and go to crossclip.com and then i scroll down to where it says hey try our mobile app right there free mobile app tap it google play and it opens up my google play i just click install and then open all right let's log in with my twitch then authorize and there we are look at that it actually pulls me directly into my clips and uh, i have access to it so that means that everything that you edit on your computer you'll have access to it directly on your phone so whenever you feel like no matter the platform that you're using mobile or desktop you'll always have access to your edited clips now on top of that to make it even easier what you can do is click share and immediately share it to your favorite social media platforms such as TikTok. And boom, here I am in TikTok. I can just click next and here it is. If I wanted to post this, I would click next and just type a description and I would be good. But that is CrossClip and all the advantages that it has. It was created by the people at Streamlabs, which are already creating a lot of tools for streamers. And this is one of their newest creations. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you CrossClip slash Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.